<laughs> well, you know what? The story for most of the week had to do with the Pacific Northwest, and they had record-breaking high temperatures. Thank goodness they're cooling off. Take a look at today's afternoon high in Portland. 86 coming off of 100 and was it 15 and 16? They had just a couple days ago. 79 in Seattle. I know they're all breathing a collective sigh, right? But now let's get to us. So you can see 107 in Vegas, 105 in Phoenix. Is this heat moving to us? Mm, depends on where you live. I know. I'm a tease. 96 degrees in Sacramento was the afternoon high. And as you move up to parts of the valley, that is where you're going to have the best opportunity for a triple digit high because those locations will not be benefiting from a nice delta breeze. So for your weather headlines, the delta breeze will be impacting areas that are closest to the delta. Afternoon highs will be rather seasonal. Remember, we are still dangerously hot. So that is always something you have to keep top of mind because Sierra thunderstorms remain in the forecast and some of them could have dry lightning, which could give us new fire starts. Something else, of course, we're dangerously dry. Just how dry? Here is a look at the latest drought monitor index that came just a couple days ago. You can see exceptional drought for 33% of the state, and that does include us. Extreme drought for 85% of the state and 95% of the state of California looking at severe drought conditions. Here is the best likelihood for isolated to scattered thunderstorms in the forecast for tomorrow. And again, any of those thunderstorms can give us some uh, brief but heavy downpours as well as, of course, some dry lightning. Here's a look at the current thunderstorm activity that we're looking at. I'm putting the lightning strikes on there for you. And you can see some lightning strikes coming in near Susanville and you get a little bit closer to Tahoe. They're also looking at some of weather moving in down through Kirkwood as well. That southwest flow that's coming in is bringing us slightly uh, cooler conditions, comparatively speaking, for parts of the valley. But more importantly, the moisture coming in off of the Pacific is also moving up and over those mountaintops, and that's where the opportunity for those late-day showers and thunderstorms are coming into play for the Sierra. That's going to be in the forecast uh, for Saturday as well as for Sunday. Here is a wonderful photo sent in by Terry. If you have a nice photo of how you're enjoying the holiday weekend, you can always send it to us courtesy of the ABC 10 app. So afternoon highs tomorrow in the foothills, 92 in Placerville, 93. That was my watch. 93 in Jackson, 94 in Auburn. I know, don't you love technology? Tahoe for the next five days, 83 for Saturday, 80 for Sunday, mid-80s Monday and Tuesday. On 64 for San Francisco, 70 in Oakland, 79 in San Jose, so cooler near the Bay. Mid to upper 90s when you hit that valley floor, the closer again that you get to uh, areas away from the Bay and from the deltas where you see the hottest temperatures. For example, 93 in Sacramento, 100 in Oroville, right? I'm glad I live near Sacramento. So 10 day forecast you can see for the 4th of July 93 and hot extreme weather possible as we move into the next upcoming weekend.